All right, now check this out. This is interesting. Let me open the Samsung My Files application. As you can see, I've got all these folders right here on the left hand side and the contents of that folder is available on the right hand side. If I tap on documents, I will see all the documents here on the right, videos, images, recent files. So there is a segregation of the tabs or let's say the folders and the files right here on my files application. And I can scroll through this as well. Now let's say I open the Galaxy Store. You see there is a lot more content than before on the Galaxy Store here. It's tiny but yes it is fitting in a lot more contents on the Galaxy Store right here. And now if I open the messaging application you can see we've got all the messages here at the left and we have got this panel on the right where I can open all these messages. You see, I can get to see all the messages, uh, message titles here and I'll also be able to open the message content right here on this panel here. Now, let's say I open Samsung calendar application. You see, I have got all these tabs here. I can quickly switch the day view, week view, month view, etc. right here. And this is the menu option. Again, I can tap on these menu options right here to check all the panels on the right hand side here. And now let's open the quick panel here. You see there is a lot more content fitting in here. The font is tiny here. I can always increase the font size and this fits in a lot of contents, lot, lot of text and lot of notifications right here. Let me open the quick panel here. This is looking a bit weird. Yes, I can understand, but yeah, this is again fitting in a lot of content right here. Now, this is sort of a tablet mode on your Galaxy phone, and you can also change your operating system into tablet mode very easily on your Galaxy phones, or maybe this is also possible on the other Android phones. In this video, I will exactly tell you how you can enable this. Before we go ahead, if you are interested in watching these kind of tips and tricks, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I post a lot of contents about updates, tips and tricks, contents related to Galaxy phones, Galaxy Galaxy watches, Galaxy tab, etc. So if you want to stay updated with everything that is happening with your device, go ahead, subscribe, give this video a like, and do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Wallverse, which is a beautiful wallpaper app with loads of contents here. Now, as you can see on this wallpaper app also, there are about five wallpapers in a row, and we have got about five columns as well. Now, this is also possible when you turn your phone into tablet mode, even the third party applications will adapt to this mode and fit in a lot more contents. Now here it's very easy to check out the wallpapers that you want and then you can expand it. And as you can see, there are tons of nice looking wallpapers here. So do not forget to uh, download this wallpaper application, Wallverse. The link is in the description. Now let me tell you how exactly we can enable this mode. First, what you need to do is you need to enable developer settings on your Galaxy phone. Let me tap on settings here. And when you scroll all the way down, you will be able to see the about phone section. Just tap on that and tap on software information. This is where you will see build number. Keep tapping on build number multiple times. The developer option will get enabled and you will be able to see the developer option right here at the bottom just after about phone. Then you open developer options, scroll all the way down until you find this option minimum width. It's right below this animation duration scale and simulate secondary display. Right here you will see minimum width. Now the minimum width that you are going to see on your phone is 384 by default. Now what I've done is instead of 384, I've changed it to 611. We can always play with this number. We can increase this number or decrease it to see how the contents fit onto your screen. I found 611 to be uh, pretty good. And if I want to reduce it, I can go further down to 550. Or if I want to increase it, I can go up to 650. That's how you can change this. Once done, just tap on OK and you'll be able to turn your OS into a tablet mode OS. That's how simple it is. And if you don't like it, come back here on developer option and change this back to 384. On my phone, the minimum width was 384 by default. Uh, you will have to remember your minimum width on your phone. As soon as you tap on this minimum width, the first number that you're going to see, please make a note of it, save it. Or just try to remember that number so that you can get back to your original minimum width on your phone. Now let me play with this. Let me try 550. I'll tap on OK. Yeah, now this is how it looks. And once you do this, you can also change the font size by going to the settings so that the font looks fine on the device. Now let me open my files. Yeah, now we will not be able to see this folder. However, the contents are smaller and more contents can be fit into this. Let me open the internal storage here and open DCIM camera. You can see these thumbnails are smaller and we can see more contents in the list right here. Now let's check the Galaxy Store. Yeah, again, there is good amount of contents here. It's small on the Galaxy Store. Now I'll go to the messaging application. 
Now the panel on the left hand side is gone. We can't see the panel and the content here because we have changed the width to 550. However, the contents or the list of messages that you see are more than the regular one that you see. Now let's go back here. Let's go back to the settings. Now while setting this up, just make sure you do not enable any of these because by mistake, if you enable show layout bounds, uh, you will not know what exactly I have done. You will see all these uh, layout indicators here. Because I did this by mistake, I was unable to find where what exactly I've done. And then I found that show layout bounds is the one which was uh, showing all these lines here. So there are possibilities that you may be tapping on the show layout bounds or any of these options. If you see something weird on the screen, just come back here. Just disable the options right here. You will be good to go. Now, let me go back here. I will get back to the original 384. Tap on OK. And here we go. We are back. I had increased the text size here. So what I'll do is I will go to the settings and tap on, uh, sorry, the font size. I will tap on font size and I'll reduce it to the original font size or the default font size. And we are back at 384, which is normal minimum width. Now, this is how you can transform your phone into tablet mode. If you want to try this out, you can do that on your Galaxy phone or any other Android phone that you have. Make sure you remember the original number and make sure you do not enable anything else on the developer option while you're on this tablet mode. That's about it. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. I just added some amazing wallpapers yesterday as well. So go ahead and check it out. Now you can see we are only able to see about four wallpapers but when we turn this phone into tablet mode we could see almost 25 wallpapers on a single page anyways that's about it that's all i have here thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye